Here we are on the start finish line at the amazing beachfront track here in Punta del Este. Let's take an onboard lap to see what challenges the Formula E drivers are going to face today. Okay, here we go, a lap of Punta del Este with Jerome D'Ambrosio. Coming up over the start finish line, moving out to the left hand side of the track, setting up for this right kink where he's going to break for this new chicane. Left hard up against the wall there, right over the curbs, back to the wall, hard to the power, going through this three and four section now, very flowing. Again, close to that wall, breaking over the bumps, breaking into this 5-6 chicane. Easy to make a mistake there. Again, over the curbs, the story of this track, using all these curbs. Right through turn 7, breaking for 8 and 9 at the far end of the track. Double apex, left-hand corner. First apex there, again, using a load of curb. Easy to make a mistake there. Accelerating up to the turn 10-11 chicane, actually the far side of the curb. Quick chicane. Coming down through turn 12 now. Bit bumpy there. Little lift, that might be flat in qualifying. Breaking hard now. Yet again, easy to make a mistake over those with the bollards. Long, long left corner now, and then breaking for 16, 17, and 18. Close to that wall. Coming back out through 18. Double apex left, 19 and 20. Off camber here. And over the start finish line. There's a lap. Last year's race provided us with one of the most exciting events of the season. And we go green in Uruguay, and it's a great start. Look at that from Nelson Piquet Jr. Here's the battle for second place. Massive lockup. Oh, and off goes Sarazan. Oh.